folks, Krilly Dean here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio, where two seconds after I ended the episode and saved, I got smooshed by a train, as you can see there. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, that would have been slightly annoying. Uh, let's get you in there, and then we run out of belts, uh, which are... So nothing's going to get produced right now, this is the problem. I've got to get material. Okay, don't auto-trash the ore, after all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it into these bad boys by hand so that we still get some production while I derp around on all that because I need I'm gonna need more belts being made right clearly clearly yeah this this may not have been uh, the best approach to all this um, let me go ahead and I was gonna say I can make more room but I guess I'm just gonna have to do this let me ferry some stuff back and forth a little bit here and I could, I, I, I might want to consider tuning uh, what's grabbing the resource here just to make sure that I've got plenty of the reds about. I should actually be using a left click there rather than a right click. Because I want to fully saturate these as much as possible. I actually might want to shortcut. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, from here, I'm going to make sure one of these is operating right now until I get the rest of it sorted out. Not that you're getting much of the way of fuel in there either, although you should have had a pretty big backlog of coal. There. Just, we'll get some in there so that the production continues while we do all this derping around. On the bright side, actually, we are getting a bunch of uh, transport belts out of all of this. So that's going to be, you know, hopefully okay. I'm going to also not auto-trash coal going forward here so that we can do that. Okay. Um, I got some belts. Good. So, yeah, the tricky part will be getting this to complete up. The fact that my bots aren't going out to do this says to me that there's some construction bots from the main network that's doing this, which is nice. Now, the construction is reaching, but we don't actually have logistics coverage everywhere. Uh, which isn't the most critical, but as I wander around here, I want to make sure that I'm consistently inside the logistics coverage area. Let's put you over there. And we're going to put another one there, just like that. There we go. Okay. Just to make sure that everything keeps flowing. I'm a little worried that the UM the supply chest over here might be in the way and they'll be awkward to move but there we go okay at least we're getting some drainage over here and some production and i think that line on the left is all steel furnaces yeah what it's not though it's not red and therefore we're not actually getting our stuff all the way to the end that'll help it's uh, got a bit of a coal shortage but okay just make sure to keep that going for now Let me go and grab that. Actually, everything's going to have a coal shortage, including our power. I think our power needs to get stuff from here, too, doesn't it? I think these are our power things. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Not that way. It's kind of a little weird and wonky. And you know what? You don't need that much. Here's what you're going to do. Well, some power is that way and some power is this way. I'm going to go and grab you this way. You're going to go there. You're going to go this way. There we go. This is going to be dedicated to just power. And what I'm going to do... Is we're going to have to figure out a way to get this to go under there. Um, but we can do that, because what we can do is end up with a corner. Two, three, four, and then leave a double space here. That way, my coal can go under it because I don't think it'll reach eight no yeah it wouldn't it wouldn't reach through eight and we need more belts and things you go and help out here because then it feels like these things are really slow at actually picking up belts I don't know why keep you fueled and drop some ore over here. All right, keep going. You can do it. Yeah, the fact that we let, let this persist so long and, and generate such a, a shortage of raw material 
is not great. I'm going to replace... Do I not have a goddamn pick? I do not have a goddamn pick. And I have no steel. It's okay, I can pick one up in a second. Um, I want this to go underground because that's the temporary line. Whereas this is the thing that's actually going to linger around for a lot longer. Right? Cool? Yeah, there we go. And yeah, we're running out of power. Okay, we still have plenty, luckily, for now. But there you go. So that's going to get the coal flowing back in there. Now, you're not connected to anything, which means you're no longer going to unload stuff. Let me get you right over there. There we go. Keep unloading. You're working. Another train coming in. Construction bots are all 100% busy. Okay. This is very nearly done. So, what we're going to do at this point is you are going to come in like this. And in fact, because we're going to copy what we've done in another spot, we're going to have this come out just a little bit more, like this. Um, and we're going to get, yeah, we're going to get it to the coals on the inside again. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just make an iron pick. Screw it. It's fine. And we're going to do this thing that's kind of like this and like that. Like that and like that. And so you here. Do, 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 gonna be this all right uh no not that one sorry not that one because these four are gonna be going to the second bank of smelters it's these four and i will again leave a gap just in case we need to fit some stuff in here these four are the ones going to this nearby bank of smelters. So, okay, we still need that, but we don't actually need this bit. Just stealing some reds. Okay, and some over here that are still waiting to be deconstructed and brought to me. So it's this line here. that's going to do this. And this one is not. So it's this connection right here coming out of the balancer that's got to go and do that. If my little construction box would do this, I would be pretty pleased. Oh, there we go. It's starting to come through. Thank you. Even though not all the lines are. I, I don't know how someone figured this little compact layout for a full three put, throughput 8x8 eight eight balancer. It's, it's madness to me. It's absolute madness. Okay. Um, we, oh, we actually have enough stack inserters, which is kind of surprising. Oh, you bastard. The little, the transport belt moved me. Like that. We have plenty of chests as well. Now, let's take a quick look. Over down here. Excellent. You're starting to get goods. So I'm going to get you to go to the drop-off. Drop off a little bit of stuff. And um, I am going to ask my remote tools. Let's get some more of this going on. Shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that it goes insane. I'm going to second one set up. Like that. Are you you're having to put the box in there? You have to go across the map to drop some stuff into a storage bin? Yep. 
Okay, let's get it to flow into all of the trucks. We'll only load from one side, just to save a little bit on belts right now. But we'll try to use all the train cars. Okay, because everything is set up for that. And then we can actually have the normal instruction of wait until full start to function, because it'll load up. It won't load up as quickly as it could, but it will load up and deliver more things. So that's good. Obviously, you know, things will have to get delivered there, but that's okay. Um, our train arrived, so obviously that's working okay. There's nothing in those, and we're not we're not using it very much. This actual train is going to do a lot of waiting here for now, which is fine. Um, let's go... Whoop, 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 whoop. So we're unloading from both sides. That's unloading through here at full throughput. That's going there and ending nowhere. Um, but actually, what it should be doing is that should be feeding into this right over here. That's where it's supposed to go. Especially since it's not going anywhere right now. I'm going to do this manually rather than use the bots, just because I want the iron on my person so that I can manually drop them off into the smelters over here. Running low on fuel, but we're going to fix that next. And I know that we've got an inversion in what side our coal is being fed from. This coal here is supposed to go to our um, our steel smelters. But that's okay. We can fix the inversion, actually, just by making sure that the smelters on the end are full of ore. So they'll just keep reading that in. But we can also, you know, fix it manually as well. Okay, so let's get this delivering our stuff. So the idea is something like that. So, likewise, we're going to be here and here and here and here and here and here. And you will be doing that, although it doesn't actually matter right now. Like that. Not using the full length of the underground, but that's fine. Okay, so all we have to do now is get... Oh, yeah, it's this line over here. we got quite a few little splits. I don't think that's going to keep going that way. Um, I just didn't want to clean everything up right away. So if you do this, we're going to start to get coal into our system once again. Beautiful. And this should start to back up because you don't actually need that much coal. It wouldn't surprise me if this one... Well, there's a lot of subdivisions going on over here. Uh, actually, I think that's being fed by some yellows over here. I think that's why there might be a little bit of gap. We'll see. Wouldn't surprise me if this one might be able to extend all the way through and feed all the things forever. But we'll see. Okay, let's go and connect more stuff up here. So, uh, oh, just because we need to make sure it doesn't do both sides here. So I'm going to do that, and that, and that. Uh, is this all the red belts I actually have on me? Yep, okay. Well, that's not going to keep working then. Hopefully we've still got some being produced. I don't know, though. Uh, let's go, and I'm going to grab a bunch of ore off of this, and just feed it into the other bank over here. Actually, again, we need to make sure to eat all that coal. And I mean, I can clean it at some point because it's going to be on the inside. So as long as I'm standing at just the right place, there we go. I can just rip the stuff off the outside here. Tricky. We got her done. There we go. Drop coal on all the things. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll probably sit here and actually eat a bunch of this and handcraft some more reds. Just to take some stress out of the system. Uh, I shouldn't have done it that way, though. Yep, I was going to say, that's probably going to happen. I want to just do a bunch of right clicks to do five at a time. So that I don't have to wait for, like, 
all the gears to be done first, and then all the reds. Or, sorry, and then all the yellows, and then all the reds. This way I'll get them the reds in five uh, element chunks. Oh! Yeah, see, if I'd done this sooner, then I wouldn't be operating this weird situation where we are massively starved for resources. Yeah, we're stealing some. So we actually do have some in there. Does does this train... What is this? This is called train stop iron plate pickup. Oh yeah, that goes into our circuitry systems and things like that. So it's used for some things. But right now it's just stealing from the bus. So let's go ahead and do dat. And do dat. Just to make it so that whatever we do produce goes straight towards the bus. Okay, I think this one's ready to go. So, let's do that. Gonna be right on the... Oh, I guess if we do the symmetrical pattern. Symmetrical? Can't pronunciate things today. That's fine. It's pretty standard. Oh, if that hurts. Okay, how are we doing down here? Because that's where some of our reds went. There we go. Nearly done! This will nearly start filling all of the cars... I mean, right now, it's we've got plenty of ore sitting back here. That's not the problem. Well, the problem is I'm handcrafting frickin' reds. And some of the reds that are being produced automatically. Um, and we don't produce them super mega fast, especially without all the, the, um, the iron in here. But some of it is being shipped out somewhere else. There you go. We only have, we only have 10 in there, yeah. Um, and it's because we got a shortage of the gears coming in. Because we don't have full saturation, and even then some of it is going something else. It's happening, just very, very, very slowly. Well, if I'm not doing anything right now... Oh, oh yeah, that's right, we have, like, no inventory space. Let's say, at least I can pick up a little bit of this and, and dump it in here. Get some production. This is all going to have to get updated with reds. Uh, because the yellows don't have enough throughput here. But speaking of yellows, I could have done some of this with yellow if I had... Uh, I guess I could put in a little requester job, actually. Because my logistics people are pretty idle right now, right? So let's cancel you and actually say, Listen, you can you can bring me yellow belts. Yeah. Let's get this done. Thank you. Uh, we don't have much space? Wait. Oh! And then I'm... Oh, I'm auto-trashing the yellow belts. Wow! Infinite loop much? <laughs> Go ahead and finish this. And actually, it means it would save me time from creating yellow belts as well um, for making the reds. But making the belts isn't the hard part. Well, yeah. All right. So that's going to start feeding into that one. Although it's not fully hooked up, but let me get back to it. I'm going to do one more feeding into over here. Switch to the reds. Okay, there we go. These three are hooked up. Run this over here. And it'll be quite obvious that it's not hooked up because we're going to see that gap get created. Do that and upgrade. And pick up. Pick up nothing, actually. Drop a little coal off in there. So again, there'll be the mix-up of one side to the other. But that's all right. We can fix that up later on. There we go. Get you in there. Barely run across there. That's fine. And I still got some yellows on me. You to there. And you to here. Out of those. A little bit of red. Not much. <laughs> I know we have a bunch of yellows in our um, in our logistics network. Oh, I just realized what was going on. I'm not actually covered by the logistics over there, which is why nothing was flowing in. Hey, delivery service. Achievement unlocked. 
everything's going slowly because I wasn't doing everything right. You are coming from here. And like that. Deliver on to me more belts. Excellent. Let's finish you. Okay. So yeah, that's all funky fine. If I can... I need inventory space for it. Um, tell you what, keep crafting reds for now. Just to free up some inventory space for me. Grab the coal from just the one side of this belt. Thump. Drop it off in here. Drop off the iron ore. Good. And then it's going to be a matter of upgrading these things to red as much as possible. So we can get throughput all the way down to the end. Technically, the last few can be yellow. The other thing, technically, we should be doing is this. So, I don't know how relevant it is here, but as it turns out, the whole trick with compressing your belt is sometimes uh, when a belt is very full, there could be little micro gaps between things, um, but the inserters are having a hard time actually shoving something in there. And the deal with these things here, the you can see how these guys are never having to wait. See how this guy's having to wait? These guys are not. Is this acts as one giant chest. And so, as long as there's any gap anywhere in here because the, the tiles aren't being rendered you can just drop and it it will fill it in and bump in everything and place everything properly along the way so that's the advantage so right at the end of these little production queues we should have a little pair of these undergrounds because the their chest like behavior ensures that you can stuff a little bit more things on your belts And get just it's not it's going to be much it's just going to be every now and again it's going to enable you to get an extra um good on the belt that you wouldn't have been able to get otherwise so we're still making plenty of reds so what i'm doing here is i'm going to be going to upgrade these yellows which are a little hard to spot at this point push comes to shove i can use the update upgrade tool um but again i find it works pretty slowly like that okay the rest of it might all be red i'm not sure oh again one thing i could do here is just make sure that we're shoving into reds if we start from the end then we'll see pretty obviously the gap at some point get created as like the yellows can't feed into the reds quickly enough so that gives me more yellow in my inventory as well which i can start to craft into more reds although i do need some raw material to do that but it'll save a little bit of the construction step and keep it going. So we are sort of rebootstrapping our system over here. Luckily, right now we are feeding into this. Uh, why are you going a little slower? Oh, because you have some yellow right there. That would be a priority to fix because most of this was actually red. And so getting rid of that one instance of yellow would make a pretty big difference. And you can see the hour is going further and further and further down and should eventually reach the end. How about on this side? It looks to me Oh, there was some yellow there. Not that that was necessarily a problem. But there might be, because we're getting incompleteness over here, there might be some yellow somewhere along this path. I don't remember. Or, oh, yeah. We're only feeding in from two and feeding out from four and they're the fours aren't being utilized a hundred percent but yeah that's starting to make some real sense uh how's my train down here oh lovely so that train's actually moving and it's probably about to arrive with a full load isn't it there it is a full load on all sides amazing now these are getting pretty darn full Oh, and the second train has arrived as well. Yeah. So very soon, our our block will not be our inputs anymore. It's going to be the amount of smelting we have. But I've got plenty of furnaces ready to go for that. Uh, you actually need to be, say, completed. 
I've got plenty of smelters ready to go. Because I thought that was going to be the next thing. It's like, oh no, yeah, we're not getting any material anymore. Boom, 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 boom. And then on the other side. See, it feels like we're getting more red segments delivered as well. Because I think we're actually getting plates to our construction area. There, there, uh, right, like that. Blam! Okay, we still have to hunt down these yellows, like that. Oh, you're delivering drills now! Look at you! We're starting to get some material! Now, this one on the outside that I'm currently routing to is in a sense a lower priority because I think it's still mostly stone furnaces. Ah, no! It is entirely steel. That's excellent. Well, while I'm waiting for things to be handcrafted and whatnot, let's go ahead and drop some steel furnaces over here. Bam. Done. Awesome. Okay. Um... So, I'm going to still work on the outside one here. Oh, I've got, like, nothing. Okay. I'll stay within... Hey, let's drop a little... Let's drop you here. It's annoying me that you're not inside of the logistics network. There we go. Not that it's going to matter in two seconds, but there we go. Get you in here. Deliver some things to me. We're not going to be able to create creating these because we don't actually have the plates. Oh, I can drop you and you. And can we... There we go. Just grab the coal from the outside. Thank you very much. Bam. All right. So... You still need to be fixed up over here. There it is. It's really hard not to accidentally grab both sides of that. Which, I mean, it still lets you fix it, but it's a lot harder on the uh, the inventory space. I'm not going to worry about the middle part right now. Let me just do the outside. So that's all done. There we go. To there. And... Over here, just going to make sure this entire route is red. Which I think it is. It's hard to see through there. See, there's yellow right there. And I think most of it is red. Okay. Here's some more yellow. Oops. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not creating signs right now, which is totally understandable. In fact, we should stick our science production at the very end of the bus, because it is the thing that should be the lowest priority, right? As opposed to making the items we need to make our factory bigger. One of the things I've really discovered is I really, like, I emphasize trying to tech up as fast as possible so much, and it's like, it turns out that's actually not, not the way to go. I really have to focus more than anything on... Um, infrastructure and mining and like production production is the top priority not science all right lovely lovely raw resources here and they're being utilized really well take a look let's see how our bus is doing much better much better there's actually stuff you're waiting for a pickup Logistic bots. Oh, they're not 100% in use. There's probably someone already queued to go and grab this stuff is so probably what's going on. Since I do have the request in there for this stuff. Um, I'm going to go back to auto-trashing yellows is what I'm going to do. Because I no longer need them. Thank you very much. So with my reds, let's get this going, because I see yellows. And then it'll be a question of spotting um, anywhere there might be a gap. Like here, I don't know if we're... Eh, everything's working to the end. Oh, except on the left, because that's more yellows. See, there's no resources there. That's a sign. 
that something is missing. Okay, you're good to there. Oh, and then we're short of stuff. I think the inputs all seem to be fully saturated. There might still be a yellow somewhere in there, and it's just being bottlenecked because of the rest of it. And we're going to be able to see that very easily, very soon. And yellow at the end is not necessarily a game breaker. The last few actually could definitely be a yellow because as long as the resources get to the end, that's all that matters. All right, this is functioning very fast. I think one of these outputs might still be yellow. Seems possible. I don't know. Why is this one so fully saturated versus the others? Well, this one's not all steel furnaces, for one. And there's definitely still yellows over here. Okay. This one's not... Some of these inputs don't seem to be 100% saturated. I don't think that means there's a yellow, though. Down there. Uh, that will be the one problem with having done this... Um, and being forced to use some of the yellows in there just to get the job done is I'm definitely concerned that I might end up the rogue yellow still in there. Uh, iron ore is... Yeah, just barely making it to the end, which is to be expected. Just barely making it to the end everywhere. That's only working some of the time. But I think we might be okay. I'll do um, what I should do. This is my upgrade tool is set to do this. Yeah, so if I use this, this actually will be an excellent way to quickly spot if anything is off. Because it would put a little thing on it. And eventually someone would go and fix it. Same thing here. And here. There we go. No, it's all been turned to red. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, not really surprised that the outer ones here are still working while everything else is done because either the extra truck that, that or the extra train that unloads things in the front. Um, but that's all good. You are showing up regularly with full loads. Okay. Yeah, the next thing we'll, to do will... Oh man, and you're here too. And you're just going to have to wait a second, but that's fine. They're unloading pretty quick. Um, the next thing to do will be to finish off our smelting area here. And out of curiosity, are we... That's all done, so let's go and get this stuff going there so we can load this train even faster. Like that. Move over. It's annoying that I do have to hold shift still. Can't just click to do this. And the trains come back already. Oh, man, this is great. And yeah, uh, I mean, this patch is not the world's biggest patch. It's actually not going to last that long. We will burn through it surprisingly quickly. Um, but and we have to undo that because you can't actually override from one to the other. There, like that. I think, I think that's all set up correctly. We'll be able to see it more clearly once things get delivered. Um, that'll finish up. We'll get both sides just to make it load faster than it is. We're getting just all the resources out regardless. Uh, you are actually missing a little bit there. Anything else not have power over here? Oh, yeah. There's a few. There we go. And so far, so good. No critters here to eat us. Um, especially, you know, we've got some gun coverage over there. We should be okay. And yeah, some of these are being a little bit backlogged. Um, but that's fine. And actually, some of that will be less of a problem when we actually uh, drain all of these lanes at the full speed. Okay, good. And another load over here. Look at this bad boy. He's, like, even just loading in one side. Like, he makes the trip so fast. And here's the other one over here. We will be looking for another, um, another good set of iron soon and get another four-car uh, train going to it soon. Just because, again, things just draining so quickly. Um, but yeah, that's swell. Okay. 
Um, over here, we had everything set up for some extra goods that we needed, finally. Uh, we still don't have batteries over here, and we're not in a position where we're automatically creating um, laser turrets. We're also not in a position where we are going to be able to build accumulators for us. So what I'm thinking here, the idea was always to carry plastic on this. I think what we might do is make like one plastic, one battery, one raw stone, one stone block. Because then we could start mass producing some more things. How are we on guns? We've got nine. I don't feel comfortable going on a big hunting mission with just that. What I think I would like to do, actually, is unlock this logistic system. All right, if we did this. Purple, electric... Oh, yeah, that's right. And then the gold is what? Speed modules. We'd have to start making blue circuits, but we can. We can have a very tiny load of this. Um, the tricky thing is the bulk production of the electric engines, which needs batteries and lubricants. Now, we are producing some. We're producing some batteries. Um, what the hell? All of a sudden, you decide to wake up and come at me? I'm not moving in and out of a zone. I don't know what uh, what the deal is. Are you, like, taking a second to recharge? I guess maybe that's it. You're entering, and then you're deciding you've got a new job, and that's to empty my transport belts. Oh, are you... St oh, you're doing the, the loop. Sorry about that. They're doing the loop where they're delivering yellow belts and then getting rid of them again over and over and over. Sorry, bots. Anyway, but other net this is like we can we can do this and it'll unlock allow us to unlock the requester chests, which will help us drain a lot of these freaking supply things, which actually have like useful stuff in a lot of them. Like you know, all this coal, that's just taking up a bunch of things. We can just have it dump on one of these lines and start getting used. And that would be really nice. You... Okay, then, then it fills up. Okay, that must have just been a bit of a, like, literally running out of inputs for a second kind of situation. I think we're okay. I gotta hope we're okay. So, that will be the thing. Uh, we're currently on a little transport, but that's okay. So, our... Batteries just get stored. And up over here, we've got electric engines. Which, I guess this area got blown up at some point, or did I cancel things? Oh, we had a factory here making lubricant that's gone. Yeah, there must have been an attack at some point a long time ago. Um, get a chemical plant down there, which would be easy to do. I just... Uh, 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 that's what's annoying me. I might literally just throw one belt of battery. No, we got to get it on a train. You got to figure out the lubricant thing. Load the lubricant on the train, drop it off. Maybe just a giant pipeline. It'd be pretty long. But we could get, like, lubricant to come all the way over here. I, I, okay, I gotta stop the episode here, because it's gone on long enough, and clearly I'm just babbling. I still have not figured out the solution to this. I think for now, what I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna go ahead and clear these guys out. And that's gonna be okay. Um, and this was supposed to be a crude. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, just to finish it up again. Oh, right! I was gonna do some logic over here. Yeah, to not empty these as aggressively. We're also having... Oh, well, shit. A bunch of stuff just got bopped all over here. And these probably aren't working at all. I can't actually click on them and see what's going on. But yeah, some something got destroyed and... Okay. Well, then that's what I have to do next time. I didn't realize this was not functioning in any way whatsoever. So we're going to go and set up a bunch of guns in here. To make sure that does not happen again. We've got those still... Just scatter a few around here in case weird stuff comes through. It hasn't hurt us that the oil's not going, but now it will. Because it hasn't hurt us because the lack of oil meant nothing. Oh, I can go and redo this to slowly trickle things over to the other train. Which still has a giant backlog of stuff because we're not actually producing circuits. But we, we're going to want that. We're going to borrow some of the material off that and go there. Um, because now we have full saturation of our bus again. Chebus. 
And we actually have, like, too much material and all this stuff sitting idle. But that is way, 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 way better than the alternative. So good all of a sudden. Um, right, yeah, all the science is being produced. So, logistics system can't do anything right now. Let's just go ahead and grab whatever, just so that there's still something being produced. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. You're coming in through here just fine. Just fine. And are you actually, like, you're now full? Yeah. And you got tons of stuff over here. I think I'm going to get rid of the limit on the red items. Because, again, we might do crazy, like, build and bulk kind of jobs. And I actually want to make sure there's a reserve, a backlog of these red items later on. If there's ever a shortage of iron again, at least we'll have plenty of freaking uh, transport belts waiting for us. So we don't fall into this situation where we have to wait a thousand years for this to get produced. Yeah, that is a good idea. All right, you still need to be produced, which is fine. And, yeah, you need batteries for the uh, the laser guns, which is why we're not making them automatically. We got to get batteries over here. You know what? First things first. Next episode, first thing we're going to do is we're going to build us, and we'll have to put it on train, drop it off right over here. There's going to be a battery line. Um, it's going to be, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be this one here. I have thus decreed. I'm going to do it now so that I don't forget because I'm not going to record the next episode immediately after this one. A lot, I tend to record a few episodes back to back, but this is not going to be one of them because scheduling... We're going to have to just do this. I was panicked that I was too close to the rail, so I moved there, which led to that. To over here to clear, 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 clear this. Uh, did I just shift-click this blueprint book and clear it? So who's blowing up my shit? Wow. Oh, we lost the radar station there. Um, okay, clearly we're going to want more guns here going forward. I'm going to go ahead and dump some radars in there. And dump some guns for the repair jobs. So someone will go and pick it up off of me. Well, assuming I was in within range of any kind of logistics, which let me go and put you down whoops, here. And you right over there. Okay. But yeah, anyway, I was going to say, yeah, I cleared the stupid station out. Um, what level is this station? It's here. I'm just going to move over to here. And say, uh, before I forget, come on, stop messing with my input, stupid autosave. Keeps canceling clicks. Battery, whoops, battery drop off for the bus is what this is going to be. We're going to get the battery shipped here, get it on one line of the bus. We can use that to start making laser guns. We can use that to start making accumulators. Um, and if we get lubricants over here, we can actually set up our full construction zone for our freaking um, electric engines and robots and just get it reproduced in bulk. We might. It might turn out that we need more than one... Um, more than one of these lines for batteries although i'd be kind of surprised and a lot of them are going to be very finite jobs like a stack of 50 lasers is going to be insane and lots right that's going to be okay accumulators you don't uh, you actually do need a fair number of them that's probably going to be the biggest drain on our batteries is the accumulators and you know maybe something with the robots we'll see if we need to dedicate a second line to it hey we can totally do that but yeah that that's going to be the idea over here just full car loads of batteries coming in over there um, and that should be swell. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.